<laughs> wow, first off, take a look at that backdrop. I'm out here and where am I? I'm out here in Halsend Bike Park, Stellingbosch, just outside Cape Town in South Africa. This is a great place to show you how to progress from tabletops to the also scary double. Right, before you get into it, before you're going to throw yourself over a big double or whatever, you got, there's a few things you've got to take into check. And that is, are you comfortable with jumping? So you're comfortable, you're clearing this jump. And the next one is, you're confident. If you're clearing this, you're confident in your jumping skills. The next one is finding the right jump for you to do it on. Because you don't want to go find a big jump and you're not comfortable with all the speed that you're coming into the jump. It's just not going to work out. But it's the same principle, not all jumps are the same. So this tabletop's totally different to the double that I'm eyeing up, which is just over there. I know that one's different to this, but it's the same thing. It's the same technique, same jumping technique. There's just another few things that you need to consider when doing a double as well. And I'm gonna run those through you right now. Right, the first tip that I'm gonna give you is do not dwell on that gap. Don't look at this gap and go, oh my goodness me. What you want to be doing is concentrating on your abilities. Be confident with that jumping skill that you have because you know you can jump that tabletop confidently and you can clear it. So why can't you do this here? So what you want to do is look ahead. You want to spot your landing. You want to know that's there and that's going to fill you with confidence because you know where you're going to land. You don't want to concentrate on the back of that landing. That's not going to help you. You don't want to concentrate in the middle of this two jumps because that's not going to help you as well. Right, so now how are you going to calculate the speed to clear this double? Well, the best thing to do is if you've got a friend that's pretty comfortable with jumping this jump and he knows the speed and all that, then following them in is perfect because you can govern your speed. You can ask them questions as well. Do they break? Do they do this? And they're going to help you clear that jump. Right, I've chosen this gap jump. You're probably asking me why have I chosen this one. I'll tell you for why. See that kicker? It's the same size as the tabletop that I'm pretty comfortable on jumping. The landing's the same thing. The only slight issue is it's a little bit longer than the tabletop. So the only adjustment I'm going to have to do is come in a little bit faster. The technique's exactly the same to clear this jump. Ho oh ho! I think I got the speed to do it, but I'm going to go a little bit faster, a little bit faster than normal that I think I should go to clear it because I don't want to case it. And what I mean by casing is I'm going to land on top of it or on the back of that landing and that's never, never comfortable. I'd rather over jump the landing because I know there's a lot of landing I can use. So going a bit deep on the landing, it's not that bad. Casing, horrible. All right, two runs in. I know my speed, I'm confident with it. I've been walking up, visualizing. I can jump that jump. I know I can do it. I got the right speed. Now, I've got to put a deal on myself. When my feet are on my pedals and I'm dropping in, I'm rolling in, I'm confident and I'm committed to jumping that jump. Because you don't want to be second guessing yourself at the beginning or in the middle. Because if you're second guessing, you're going to make a mistake and that probably won't end very well. So you've got to be confident that you can do this jump. I'm confident. I'm second guessing now, but I'm not. My feet are not on my pedals yet. I'm confident oh, I'm going to do it. All right, kind of landed that one. Luckily, I thought, right, go faster, because I landed that kind of good. If I thought go the same speed as what I thought I should have, I would have cased it. <laughs> right, another tip. When you're actually dumping it for the first time is the most scariest part, doing something for the first time, getting over that mental barrier for doing a gap jump like this. When you're in the air, what you don't want to do is like, 
tense up. You don't want to tense up when jumping because you're going to make a mistake. You want your bike to move around in the air. It's naturally going to do that because depending on the way you jump or whatever, let your body and your bike move together. Just be calm. Don't tense up because you're going to make a mistake and when you land you're going to be all tense. Especially if your bike's moved out to one direction and you're tense. It's going to like make you go all weird. So relax when hitting jumps. It's key. Quick recap. It's all about being super confident because you know you can jump the tabletop and you can clear it. There's no reason why you can't jump a double. It's just a mental issue because there's a gap in between. But don't dwell on it like I said. Be confident you can do it because you can do it. You just got to just grow a bit and do it. But if you found this video super helpful, let me know down in the comments below as well. And also if you're struggling with something, I might be able to help you out in the comments. Click up here from pump track to trail, hit the globe if you haven't subscribed already. And if it helped you out, give it a thumbs up like, and I'll see you at the next one.